Hey, this is Benjamin Lee, and I'm a colorist that uses Apple's new color correction software uh, called Color. Now, these are this is I'm showing you an example of uh, some of the shots that I've corrected for a uh, short film that I've been working on. Um, some of these are subtle, some of these are more drastic. Um, but what I'd like to do is run through a couple of the really dynamic ones that I've been working on um, so that you can get a better idea as to what it takes to color grade. Now color grading does two things. It allows you to correct the color and the lighting of your production footage. Color is an insanely powerful program. You just have to have somebody that knows how to use it. I'm going to show you a shot here. Now what's supposed to be happening is she comes out into the light of the outside or the moonlight. But uh, when it was shot, it, unfortunately we didn't have much time. So uh, they used a tungsten light and that's a problem. So the first thing you got to do is attempt to separate the colors that you're going to change from those that you're going to keep. Now there are two tools that colors use to do this. The first is a key. What that does is allow you to separate or to isolate specific colors based on their hue, saturation, and luminance. The problem with this shot is the fact that when you do key those colors out, so often the colors inside the house and outside the house are so similar that you can't successfully key out just the things that you want to change. Now the second tool that we use to key out color is or are mats. This is a mat that I put uh, to represent the shadows that would be cast by the doorknob. This one is just as you can see on the edge of the door as she opens it. You have to keep in mind as you grade that this the light that you see in the picture is acting in a three-dimensional environment. So this is the before. And this is the after. Here you can see the the contrast between the pre and the post. Here's another shot that I've been working on. Now, when this is finished, it's supposed to be uh, in the evening and there will be a full moon just right above the horizon. Uh, actually, the color correcting was the easy part of this shot. What I needed to do first was adjust the reds the greens, the overall color. I also need to look at the contrast, the exposure, saturation. The other thing I needed to do was was key out a particular highlight. What you're seeing here is a vignette that is a rectangle that's feathered out. And this, everything that you see in white is what I'm going to be correcting. You can't quite see it in the shot, in the original but uh, there's actually some sunlight coming from you know, behind the camera that I needed to key out. So this is post color grading of the original shot day for night. Once I finished grading the moon I needed to export all those assets and import them into motion or I could composite them. Create motion tracks and garbage mats, which cumulatively allowed me to make it look like trees at different distances were moving in front of the full moon. And there's one more shot I'd like to show you. 
what was happening is there's a lamp behind the tree that was on in all the shots but this one and I didn't realize it until after production in fact I was almost done editing but thanks to the miracle of color I found a way <laughs>